Hey guys, Untrust Life here, and uh, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I I say that a lot now, don't I? Um, <laughs> anyway, um, today I'm going to show you uh, how to uh, save and load scriptable objects in Unity. I'm not going to go into super high detail because I want it to be like a real quick tutorial, um, and uh, I'll show you. All right. So one issue some people have with um, this uh, Easy Save. Easy Save is a uh, by the way, it's a Unity asset you can grab on the Unity Asset Store. Um, it's pretty cheap, um, and it makes it so that you can save and load, you know, objects really easily. Um, like, like pre, like objects that were already in UD, like it, it sets them all up so they can be saved, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's really nice. Anyway, so let me show you. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you my code. Um, so let me go ahead and go to, uh, I believe it is here. I'll just go to, I'll just open it up here. Um, yeah, you guys can see that. Cool. I use Visual Studio for editing, but, um, you know, pretty much everybody uses Visual Studio, <laughs> so I don't feel like I need to, um, still waiting for Visual Studio to load. Come on, Visual Studio. I don't have all day. In fact, I only, I want to do this in less than eight minutes. We'll see if I can pull that. All right, here we go. You can do control comma to pull up your, um, just hit control comma to full, pull up um, uh, all the files that are currently in your uh, game. Um, and savegame.cs is my uh, save and load code. So, easy save. Quick rundown. Um, you import easy save. You're like es3 dot um, save and es3 dot load. Um, what I do, for example, is I've, I've already set it up. You, you have to um, create a easy three es3 saving objects for all your objects that are custom made it has objects for just about every single existing unity object already so you don't have to worry about those so in my case we're looking for units yeah here we go game object units just game object that find units i think here we go unit list um, I, I create a list of game objects, unit list, list game object, and I loop through all of them, and then I save their unit game object, which has my uh, unit component on it, which I have an ES3 saving script for already. So here's what an ES3 type looks like. Um, uh, the thing that we're going to keep our eyes on here is the list of researched researches. The list of researched researches is simply a list of scriptable object unit research items that I've created, which also have their own ES3 savey thing type uh, unit research item. So you have to create the CS3 type. I'm not going to go into details. Um, it's pretty easy actually though. In fact, you can do it through the UI mostly. Um, but, you know, write all the properties, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but this actually will not save norm This actually will not save properly by itself. And that is the problem with scriptable objects. Um, so, let me show you the problem. If I go to actual game data, um, data science, and I like create a new science object, create science, research item, Oh man, we're at four minutes, you guys. Um, I might have to cut this down. All right, let's call it save and load test. All right, so we have this new thing here. Let's just call it test. Test. Unit applies self. I, I would not, I'm not gonna explain how this all works because that's just unique to my game. It won't have any impact on how, what you're doing. Um, so. And then I have to choose a type, which I'm just going to go with that. Um, not a global tech. All right, cool. Now, in my game, uh, you can research items via commands. So in my case, we're going to be uh, just being a kingdom. Kingdoms have a castle city. That's their starting building. And I've already created a uh, an instance in this uh, unit commands list here for this. Um, and then... I'm just going to select the research for command, which is save and load test. All right. Um, I'm going to call, and I'm going to go um, command text, 
test scriptable object. Bam! All right, let's go. Okay, guys, we're at five minutes. Oh, man. All right, so let's just go into the game. By the way, the game itself is DR4X. It's it's a wishlistable on Steam. Ooh, fun times. You guys should do that if you want, if you're interested in turn-based tr strategy games. Anyway, so now we have this test scriptable object right here with, <laughs> with two Ts. <laughs> um, uh, I set it to zero churns, so when I click this, it'll research it immediately. All right. Now, I'm going to pause the game. Um, go to the Castle City. And we have this cool list of research researches, which is a list of scriptable objects. Whoa, and here's our test object. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to go Menu, Quick Save. What this does is that calls that save and load code um, that I showed you earlier. All right, bam. And then we have to exit the game. Um, and then we have to exit from Unity because... Um, Unity sort of hides this bug um, because it keeps a reference to the scriptable object. Um, and when you restart it, it'll lose that reference to the scriptable object. All right, so let's go. Um, I'm going to stop recording, and then I'm going to restart Unity. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, uh, let's, uh, let's show you the thing, huh? So since I'm saving the object, and you saw that it saves the list of research researches, it is safe to assume that um, it'll just load that scriptable object, right? Um, however, saving load is a bit weird. Anyway, quick load. This will load my game. Uh, it's not going to be very quick, is it? I think it's just because I got, like, curiosity stream on in the background. Anyway, we're back to where we were before. Woo! Isn't that isn't that just fun as fuck. Now, let's look at our unit, huh? Castle City, you should have a list of research researches on you. What? It's empty? What? How did that happen? Well, here's what happened. When you restart Unity, um, Easy Save loses its reference to the scriptable object. Which means it, unfortunately, cannot save and load the scriptable object by reference. Ah, shoot. Well, how do we fix that? You might be wondering. Well, it's actually really, really simple. And it's taken me eight minutes to get to this. Literally, all you have to do is uh, right-click on, on your uh, scriptable object you created and hit Add References to Manager. Yeah. That's all you have to do. <laughs> um, so next time you try to save and load a scriptable object and it doesn't load properly, you won't spend several hours trying to figure out why that's happening with your scriptable object and instead realize, oh, I have to right click on the thing and hit save, <laughs> add references to manager. You'll see that when I refreshed here, the reference count went up by one. <laughs> uh, all right, let me show you how that, let me show you what happens. Um, I'm gonna have to go through the same exact routine. Good inspector. Well, actually, no. Don't don't go to inspector yet. <laughs> Bam. We research our thing. We have we have to research it again because that save file is borked. It did not have a reference. The reference is different now. So if I were to try to save and load that other save file now, it would cause issues. But now that you've added the reference to your manager, you never have to worry about it ever again. Quick save. All right, I'll uh, run through the same routine, restarting Unity, etc. We'll be right back. And I'm back again. Why, hello, folks. What's up? You'll notice the reference count is, is 1974 still. What? Uh, quick load. Sweet. All right, now let's pause the game. You'll see that it has a little science icon on it. Uh, that means it knows there's a science there. We can tell from a glance, but I'll show you the it specifically so you know it's you know actually there. 
Wow, list of research researches actually has something in it. And it's our thing. Holy crap. All right. So now, um, uh, unlike me, you at anybody having this issue with easy save can find this video and not debug something for like three hours trying to figure out why it's not saving and loading their scriptable objects. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Wish that's my game, DR4X on Steam. Um, here, let me pull it up. <laughs> oh, 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 DR4X. Click it. And there's my game. Hit the wishlist button. Do that, please. Thank you very much. Anyway, see you guys.